These days, we're all used to live video streaming from meetings, concerts, sports, and other events. We expect high resolution and no buffering. However, the technological leap from broadcasting TV signals over the air to high-definition digital video over fiber optic cables took more than 50 years. Today, it seems like it should be simple to turn on a large-scale scientific instrument and watch the output as easily as Californians can watch a Florida rocket blast off. But it's a lot more complicated for the kind of data-intensive science happening at national labs. That's why currently, data from such instruments must first be stored, then converted into files that can be processed and analyzed later. But this spring, engineers from Energy Sciences Network and Thomas Jefferson National Accelerator Facility made a big leap forward. They streamed raw instrument data from Jefferson Lab's Continuous Electron Beam Accelerator Facility in Virginia, across ESNet's network, and directly into the Perlmutter Supercomputer at the National Energy Research Scientific Computing Center at Berkeley Lab. This all took place at a rate of 100 gigabits per second. That's 13 times faster than the very fastest home internet. They achieved this thanks to a prototype they built together named ESNet JLab FPGA Accelerated Transport, or EdgeFAT. EdgeFAT is a software-driven networking array that uses field programmable gate array hardware to shape and load balance data traffic. It's designed to allow data from different types of scientific instruments to be streamed for processing in real time to more than one high-performance computing facility at once. Successfully enabling such streaming means that researchers can more quickly and easily calibrate and steer time-sensitive experiments while they're happening. Think tracking a supernova in the night sky or analyzing a deadly virus using a light source. These are the kind of breakthroughs that the Department of Energy's new Integrated Research Infrastructure Program seeks to speed up by seamlessly linking its vast ecosystem of experimental and computational resources. During an experiment, Jefferson Lab's array of detectors churns out tens of gigabytes of data per second. Newer instruments can pump out terabytes, that's one million megabytes. For context, Netflix estimates that streaming a high-def movie requires just 8 megabytes per second. You see why it's harder to stream science than science fiction movies. With EdgeFAT, raw data travel in one direction and the processed data, which are typically smaller, are streamed back in real time without the need for disk storage or buffering. And it can be adapted for other types of instruments to stream their data to multiple computing facilities thousands of miles away. The EdgeFAT team is working with the Advanced Light Source, the Advanced Photon Source, and the Facility for Rare Isotope Beams. These facilities would like to stream their workflows for access to computing power at NERSC, the Oak Ridge Leadership Computing Facility, and the High Performance Data Facility Testbed. For scientists whose research depends on time-sensitive data from instruments such as particle accelerators, telescopes, and electron microscopes, EdgeFAT's success will hopefully mean more streaming, less dreaming. To learn more, visit us online at lbl.gov.